Hello, this is David Hale with Tech Dive TV. Welcome to Tech Dive TV Help Desk. In today's episode, we're going to talk about how to battle viruses. Um, viruses, when they attack your computer or when they get installed on your computer, can actually come from just about anywhere. Not only bad websites, but good websites too can be infected. So it's not necessarily your fault if you get a virus. First of all, you should have your antivirus software installed, running, and up to date. Uh, if you don't have that, you're going to get lots and lots of viruses. But sometimes viruses can go and turn off your antivirus software before it installs itself. The best weapon you have against getting rid of these viruses is to have a user account that has administrator rights that you never use until you need to get rid of viruses. What you need to do is create an administrator account, a new one. You can name it anything you want. I would recommend antivirus or rescue or something that you wouldn't normally use. There's going to be a link at the bottom of this video on where to go for the exact steps on how to do it. Or just ask the local teenager. I'm sure they can help you. Uh, but it's important because viruses, when they attack, they usually attack the user profile that's running at the time of the virus attack. So if you're logged into your computer as yourself, your profile is the one that's going to be infected. So another user that's not infected has a better chance of getting rid of the virus than you do. There was one nasty virus that was going around quite a bit a while ago, and it still is fairly prevalent. It's called the FBI Money Pack virus. What happens with that one is when you turn your computer on and you boot it, it doesn't boot to Windows, it boots to this FBI screen and says, oh, we noticed you've been doing bad things and we're going to shut down your computer. But if you send us a money pack virus, a money pack money order for $300, we'll let you go. But, you know, FBI doesn't work like that. So, you know, the only way to get rid of that virus easily is to try getting rid of it from another user account that has administrator rights. That's why you need this account. So, follow the link below. Go through the steps, create yourself another administrator account that you never use, give it a name, and also make sure you password protect it so people don't use it by mistake. And remember the password. Very important to remember the password. So, this is David Hale from Tech Dive TV Help Desk. Have a great day.